They can't do anything about that. Alright, what's this? Turn it on. I thought he recharges faster in the light. sure what's down here, but I'm hoping it's a gun? Some sort of light source? No? Nope. Manuscript. Oh, I said we were going to read the manuscript. Alright, so we're on four right now, so we need to do the one before. We haven't heard any of these. Hey, what's going on here? Am I still live right now? Like, my stuff just completely glitched out. Can't even see. Is that... Well, that loaded. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's... It's still up. It's just everything... Yeah, it was weird. It kind of glitched out. I got, like, a huge patch of dropped frames in a... OBS and the program itself just kind of borked out a little bit. All right, that's okay. If we're still we're still live, that's fine. I just hope my internet isn't having issues. I don't know if it's OBS or my internet, but <sighs> All right, here we go. Randolph like Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. I slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left, no guilt either, not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet lead the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Is that the, oh, here we go. Some of the Taken more. retained echoes of their former selves, but these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the Dark Presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. Alan Wake! Right? <laughs> How are you doing today? We're going through some of the manuscripts really quick before we go any further. 
Not too many more here. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. Used to play this with friends like years ago, but you were too scared and let my friends do the playing. Yeah, this came out like, what? Eight or nine years ago at this point, and I'm just getting to it. Maude had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn, but there was no sign of them, and the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated, Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. It's a ago. fun game to watch, good, because it is be a happy. fun game to play. I really like this game. I tried to hold on to Alice, but her form melted away. I was losing control. Dr. Hartman stood in her place. I wanted to hit him, but my arms were jelly. He smiled. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. Hmm. Lightning flashed behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Molnir, wench. He brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. We're Jeez. on a comeback tour, baby. That's how we played it too, pa uh, passing around the controllers with a couple of beers. Nice. I gotta recommend the band has done... So, wait, I gotta recommend the band has done some music for this game. Check out Poets of Fall. Their song, War, has a music video with the face model of Alan Wake. Playing Alan Wake in the music video. Nice. Sorry if that didn't make any sense. No, I gotcha. I gotcha. I might have to check them out because the soundtrack to this game is really good. Oh, that was it. We've gotten a bunch for this one. Wow, we've missed a lot. Look at that. Like, we were getting all of them. And then all of a sudden, nothing. And then we got that one. <sighs> okay. There's at least one scene with a song from Poets of the Fall. Not sure there's more. Oh, there's only one scene. Okay, I thought they did the overall soundtrack to the game. I'm not too familiar with them themselves, so I wouldn't be able to identify which uh, song it was. Run, Alan! Bastard, you find that rock. This guy has like almost no stamina. You believe there's a radio somewhere and it plays? Would I have already passed the radio? The shadows crawled over the gate. I needed a light to destroy them to get through. He needs a light. Like a giant match. Oh shit. Yeah. Alan, you idiot. All right, so we need to jump apparently when we get right here. I hope there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. I mean, that looked like it turned something on. <gasps> Shit, I keep falling down that damn hole. Um, 
Other than this light, that's not really doing a lot. Oh, I see it. I see what I gotta do. I got it. Hey, what's up, PCRBZYP? How you doing today? We got it. We got the evil gate. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. No batteries, though, so we got to be really sparing with this flashlight. There's no one in the dark. I don't think that's true at all. How's your day going today? Only the three funny assets are oh, shit. Their hearts. Get to the Jenny. Get to the Jenny. Run, dude. Come on, even faster. Oh, shit. Oh, we get up. We're gonna bite it right here. Hidden off to bed. Just wanted to show some love. Well, I appreciate you stopping in. I hope you get some good sleeps. And, uh, good dreams. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. Alan, run. Run. How far in this game? I'm on chapter four right now. I think I'm... It's hard to say. You can kind of judge where you are by the manuscripts you picked up. So we've picked up that one. Wait, I think the last one we picked up was actually that one. And I think we're halfway through chapter four. I think. That? A car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry. Streamer Elite 88, thank you so much for the follow and welcome into the salt mines. I hope you're having a great day. Just in time to catch some Alan Wake madness. I'm going to try to figure out when the scene is. <laughs> it's here somewhere. Wouldn't surprise me if we've already passed. I don't know how long this game is, but I get a feeling that we're more than halfway through. The car was heading for the PCRVYP. Thank you so much for far. the host. If I appreciate Barry, that a lot. Thank you. See the damage soon. Also, just as a general shout out, of course, uh, all this week, all the streams are in support of mental health awareness. Uh, with a charity drive going towards the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. A really great foundation that does a lot of great work providing mental health resources. Um, if you guys would like to, you don't have to, so please, no one feel obligated, but if you guys would like to, there is a donation link set up where all proceeds go directly to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. To the right time and place. If you donate ten dollars or more, I'll eat some disgusting goes. jelly bellies to the uh, boozles. So, I had seen glimpses of light fun before. and good stuff for everyone. It, it was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Oh, oh shit! Dude, get, 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 go! Holy crap, dude! Run! We don't have a gun though, do we? I don't think we have a gun at all. Crap. Okay, he's not behind us anymore, so I can relax a bit. We got another page. Oh hell yeah! Someone had left a Pick gun that up right now. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. 
Alright, we got a shotgun. We have 14 rounds. A little bit of damage now. I still wish we had the bigger flashlight, but it's better than where we were about five minutes ago. I don't even know why these are lit up. Like, I kind of wish they weren't lit up. And make it a bit more challenging. Make it a bit more challenging to have to look at the ground where you run so you don't step on your toes. God, we were right there. Fuck. That was shitty. We were right by that light. I should have popped a flare. That's okay. I suck on that flare. Oh, shit, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, hey, what's up, Indo Shorty? How you doing today? Oh. Stream's going good. Slowly making my way through some Alan Wake. Oh, man. Not doing terribly good at the moment in it, but uh, it's happening. Yeah, how's your day going? Oh, I almost ran right into that bear trap. Just run into all the bear traps. Oh, that other guy hit that guy with an axe. Oh, that's so funny. He just popped the flare. I'm really going to have to get one going right when I get up here. I don't feel like I went this way before. Ah! What? Whoa. Whoa. What even happened right there? Your day is okay. Was a bit depressed this morning, but doing better now. Well, that's good. I'm glad you're doing better now. Sorry to hear you were having a a rough morning. That's never good. Oh man. Maybe I should just uh, let this reset right there. That didn't uh that didn't go too well. Yeah, waking up feeling depressed is uh never a great way to start the day. I'm trying to go back to school for a few years now, but things are not really working out. You haven't been able to go to school. I'm sorry to hear that. I know uh, restarting school after you haven't been been going for a while is always a bit rough. I, I keep saying for a while I'm going to go back to school and continue my degree. And I just, for some reason, can't seem to make it happen. But, I mean, if that's something you really want to do, you just got to keep at it. Because you'll get it one of these times. Just don't give up. What are you going to school for? I keep running into these things. Oh my god. 
Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna pop a flare right here. I think I made it. Okay, we're good. We're just gonna stop here for a second. My parents could not pay for it for me, and I got uh, kicked out at 17, oh, 17 years old. Tried to pay for school, but it's very hard. Oh yeah, that sounds like it. You want to do some art animation. Have you ever tried to get, um, like, student aid? Um, I'm not sure where you're located at, but a lot of cities, or states, for that matter, if you're in the U.S., um, offer a lot of student aids where you can sign up and uh, they'll give you X amount of money to go to school. Um, I used it back a few years ago and it was really, really helpful. They, they gave a, a decent size to pay for the classes as well as a little bit extra for school supplies and stuff and it really helps out. I keep yelling trap here and then you run into them. <laughs> For the school you want to go to, it's not a problem. Because it's a... Oh. It's a private institution. I gotcha. Yeah, those are probably a bit more expensive. And the reason why you want to go there is because it's the only place that they let you come without a diploma. Like, um... What about, like, a, a GED or something like that? And I only bring that up because if if you're if they're limiting you that much, I'm sure there's other possibilities out there that you can go to. That's why I brought that up. Uh, since I have no diploma, it's very hard. What's a GED? So, uh, GED or high school equivalency. Um, so if uh, you did not obtain a uh, high school diploma for whatever reasons, um, you know, thousand and one reasons why people may not end up getting their, their high school diploma. You can get um, here what's known as a GED, or I think they've been changing the name to high school equivalency, which if you have that, it pretty much is the same thing as saying you graduated high school and here's your diploma. And then places that may not have let you in before without that will let you in, and it opens a lot of doors. You mean like a 21 plus test? I'm not sure if that's the same thing or not. I'm not too sure what a 21 plus test is, but it might be the same thing. Uh, it's equivalent to a diploma. You take an exam and it proves you're equal to having a high school diploma. Exactly. Yeah, just what Banana said. In the Netherlands, that's what you call it. Okay, gotcha. So a 21 plus test. So, I mean, I don't know in the Netherlands what the details are for something like that. Uh, I know in the States, it's not terribly too rough to get, um, like they have it at libraries and stuff most days of the week and you just pay for it and you go in there and you take the test and some people go in and they take the test just to see where they stand and where they may need to study on and then they'll go back and do it again a second time. But I mean, not saying you, you would have to do that or anything, but I'm just trying to give ideas to maybe help open some doors if that one institution is feeling, or that uh, private institution is feeling a little bit um, out of reach for whatever reason. Uh, sounds like more maybe financial reasons. Then maybe getting that 21 plus test might open some doors for some places that are just as good that may not uh, break the bank as much, so to speak. But, you know, I'm just, just uh, sounding off random ideas. Hello? Anybody here? PCRVYP, thank you so much for the subscription. You have now been stitched into the suit. Please! What the fuck? What are you? Thank you so much for that sub. And guys, we are one sub away from hitting a wheel. One sub away from some wheel madness. Yeah, that sounds painful. I did it. Um, I got in, but I had no money, and it's only valid for a year. Oh, okay. Intr Wait, hold on. The, uh, are you saying the 21 plus test is only valid for a year?
if if that's what you meant by that that's rough because in the states when you do the uh high school equivalency or the ged like it's good for life so that's that's a little uh harsh to only be valid for a year well you know just trying to think outside the box with that but i'm sure you'll make it there try not to get too too down about it if you keep that as the goal that you want to do that's something you really want to do somewhere you really want to go and you just keep at it you'll end up there before long and sometimes the best things are the things that you work really hard for and that take time to get to it almost will make it a lot more uh I know you. Exciting and you enjoyable once you day. get to it, because you worked so hard I to get it. To the farm again, and, uh, for the moonshine, you know? It, it makes you see they're, they're not going to miss it. They're in the loony bin. Uh, my buddy, Whoa. Danny. Hold on. I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. Uh, it's not him. Like a real what happened to this guy? Follow up to a real good movie. The best friends suddenly the bad guy who, who wrote this crap anyway. Uh, do you ever feel like time is getting ahead of you? Uh, you're 27 and you're obsessed with time. I don't have regrets though, never. All the time. Hey, what's up, my beer? <laughs> How are you doing today? Now, I I get a idea of what you're feeling about there too. Like being uh, 32 myself, I've definitely had thoughts here and there about like, man, I'm I'm 32. There's things I I still haven't done, things I'd want to do, places I want to go visit mainly and. A degree that I eventually want to finish up and get and you know I I think it's something that it's good to be aware of you know just that you know hey these are things you sh you should keep looking forward to doing and you should keep working towards but not necessarily something you should let get the best of you because as long as you work at it it will happen and it's not like there's any age that's too old to do anything like people are still going to school for like becoming a doctor in like their 50s it will be free and there's nothing wrong with that used alice to get to me dangled her in front of me to keep me going it was never going to release her i'm going to change this i'll escape i've written myself into the story i'm now the protagonist this feels like a terrible risk but it's the only way to save alice I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes. Cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. Holy Almost shit, that's die. what's going on, isn't it? I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who... Wow, that's fucking interesting. I think I just realized what all that's about. So all those little s segments that we've been hearing is like the prologue to this. So he wrote himself in the story. We're playing the story. I think that's what's going on. That's crazy. Man, that's intense. Um, the main thing about obsessing over time, etc., is that you need to stop comparing ourselves to other. Well put. Very well put. I hate it and I should care less about what people say and think because my family is always negative saying you're almost 30 and you didn't accomplish anything yet but they have uh talked like that to me for years as to where all my nieces uh still live at home and are lazy live off their parents and get everything paid and dare to judge you you know that's that is frustrating you know some parents just i mean granted i don't know your parents so i don't want to really say too much one way or the no another I don't really feel it's right judging people without really knowing them. And even then, it's not really cool. But, um... You know, it's possible that they just 
really want what's best for you and they maybe in their mind they see that as a positive push reminding you these things that maybe they don't realize are stressing you out but they're doing it as like a push like hey if we keep saying this if we keep pushing they're gonna do stuff faster when sadly in reality it's just causing unnecessary stress and you know different types of motivation don't seem to work for everybody maybe that worked for them when they were growing up but you know you're not them so I mean that's just one thing it could be anyway but you know it's it doesn't mean that that's a bad thing I mean you should be happy with where you are now too you know I mean they should be happy with that and you should be happy mostly you should be happy with yourself or where you are in life at this point and you know it doesn't matter necessarily what you haven't accomplished yet because of everything you have done so far even if it's just you know things that for whatever reason don't necessarily seem like the biggest things I don't know if I worded that right. That didn't seem like I worded that right to myself. Mainly, I'm just trying to convey not to stress about it. Is that guy going to come through here? This is a safe room? I think it's a safe room. <sighs> well, oh shit! I didn't see that coming. Wow, I didn't see him coming in that room. Uh, best try to not get discouraged easy. Better said than done, you know. Yeah. Almost 30 club. 26 deliver. Um, hold on, why did that... I don't know why that blocked it. I'm just going to allow that. I'll read why it blocked it in a minute. Um, I meant more is a spoiled way for my niece example is obsessed with material things like brands etc wants to be rich and have rich men but i am trying to stream now find another prime time job and save money again i want to be carefree i mean it's if you're trying to s do streaming uh find another part-time job and save money i mean if you're doing the things you love to do I mean, that's really important. The fact you're trying to find a part-time job also seems like you're being realistic about the whole situation, too, which is really good. And save money again is a great way to, to, to live things, too. So those all seem like really good things. Uh, Mr. Mr. Indo, I don't want to steer the convo, but you've made a really good point about them judging you. I definitely take notice, struggle to understand it for myself. We can't impress or please everyone still trying to accept that some of our family members are just dickheads and they're always going to be like that. My twin has a lot of growing up to do. Is 26, never been wrong a day in her life. But hey, uh, she's the cunt, not me, so that helps me. Oh, my twin is very materialistic as well. She plays around with men's hearts so she can get what she wants. Oh, that's... I don't know, that's not cool. That's not a cool way to do things. That is manipulative as hell. <laughs> oh, man. Well... Hopefully, I worded at least some of what I was trying to say, okay? Mainly just, as it is easier said than done. Try not to be too stressed out about it. Good things will come if you keep at it. And persistent, persistence will prevail. And it definitely sounds like you have a game plan for yourself right now, so... It sounds really good. Random tangent, but would it be cool to have a twin? 
It seems like it would be interesting to have a twin. Like, for me, it would have been really interesting to be, have uh, grown up if with a Barry sibling at all. Here, like, probably in trouble down at the farm. I have a, ha a, a half-brother and a half-sister, but After all, they were already out of the house myself. when I was born, but so... Barry I, could go to I had the only childhood thing. Pros and cons for sure, but when I was a kid, I always wanted a twin. <laughs> oh, I almost fell off the ledge there. She's very manipulative. She purposely pushes your buttons, and when you snap, she acts like calm and the, the calm and collected one. Makes you look like the irrational one. Somehow my parents find it difficult that I don't want a thing to do with her. I mean, it's not terribly hard to imagine that, uh... There'd be a little bit of separation between you two if, uh, one person was like that. Mm, I don't know. I guess I had an automatic best friend, and there are things I miss, but she's always been manipulative even as a child. Just born that way, then. That's interesting. I always find it interesting how people end up turning out based on, uh, like, their upbringing or what happened to them as a kid. And you have to wonder, like, what was that trigger, maybe, in their life that made them be manipulative? Like, like maybe as a baby, they cried for a bottle, and it was just a weird conscious realization at a young age that they cried for the bottle, and so they got it. And then everything just spiraled off of that. Like, I don't know. That's reaching. That's really reaching, but... Just, uh... Interesting thought. Oh, here we go. I almost kept running up that hill. I bet that would have taken forever. Another car there. I want this Jeep though. Or whatever this is. get through that. I wonder if I keep running into them. They seem like they can maybe do damage to the vehicle, but... There we go. We got two of them. Alright, let's get out. Let's go. Let's go, let's go! We gotta get going. I guess she's an evil twin. <laughs> oh shit. I'm sorry, I'm into astrology. What's her zodiac? Oh. Taurus, and very much bullheaded. She lacks like an only child. My sister's a Taurus. Not into astrology, but I can see how she can be a bull in a china shop. Uh, Taurus explains materialism. Uh, she dislikes that I can be by myself and be okay with it. And I have two groups of friends that I travel with, that I travel the world with. She doesn't because she alternates everyone and has no friends, just strings of boyfriends and their friends. You know, there's something about that too that seems very isolating. be one thing if it was like maybe long lasting relationship and like something solid and stuff but a string sounds kind of isolating
<laughs> you didn't say any Taurus as well. <laughs> I said nothing. I'd known but yeah, astrology to is too kind of deep. Rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw this stage. Yeah, I've heard some really interesting things about astrology over the years. I haven't really looked into mine at all. I'd be like, I'd probably explain a bit about myself if I really looked into it. Oh man, they're coming. Oh, what is that? I'm holding B, switch to it. Oh man, run dude, run, just run, just run real quick. Shit, we're gonna die. We're not doing well. Oh man. We have a big ass floodlight right now. This thing is amazing. Hey, what's up, Roland? How you doing? Forgive me if I'm not staring at chat at the moment here. I have, oh shit, a rampage of people going on at the moment. Look at all these people, they just keep coming. What did that say? Do I have a pump action shotgun now? Finally in this game. Who the hell hit me? Come on, come on you. I see you coming up here. Big pickaxe and shit. Who else is coming? Who else? Light you up. Oh shit. Oh man. Fuck. Oh my god, all of that and we died. Let me pause it for a second. Let me catch up on the uh, the chat for a second. She's like many people who have an inferiority complex where she thinks she's better than everyone but hates herself. That's sad. I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> Imagine two t twins with different zodiac signs maybe born on the cusp a couple hours. You know, that could potentially happen. That would be crazy. Um... You have parents and houses, etc. apart. Time of birth is very important. Planets and houses, I read that wrong. Time of birth is very important. Only eight minutes between you and your twin. You're a fish, Pisces. I guess I could be a little materialistic. I'm loyal to a couple of brands. You're doing, you're just chilling, rolling. Nice. Um, I saw you earlier. I didn't have time to stop in at the moment, but I, you were playing uh, with the fork knife. How'd it go? Can I send a leak link and explain what houses mean? Yeah, sure. With a picture, go for it. Post away. Glad you decided to go it alone. Okay, hurry up, hurry up, dude. Hurry up, pick it up, get up, pick it up. Pick it up, dude. Damn, it took a long time. Run, 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 run to the other flashlight. 
fuck. We didn't get- I think we might have to start with the other flashlight first. Okay, we have the good flashlight now. We have lithium batteries now. Okay, dude, run. Run over here really quick. Get away from them. Fuck, dude. Don't die. We were doing so good the first time. Oh my god. Maybe I should not focus on getting the pump action at the moment. Why doesn't he pick that up right away? Ow! We have to fight him off! I can set off more of the fireworks from here and help you out! Hey, Al! Did you notice there's a lot of ammo and stuff around? This place is stopped! Oh, hold on! I'm trying to get the stage and We're getting, like, pelted on here by those fucking things. Oh man, we're gonna die again. Already. Oh <laughs> Alright, let me check the link really quick since we're dying like crazy here. Okay, so a chart is a circle and it shows houses and planets. They are all ruled by a sign and an element. All right, so. All right, I actually went ahead and pulled it up here, so I'm looking at it right now. Is that 10 houses, if I'm reading it right? So the first house is Aries, second Taurus, third. 12th Pisces, 11 Aquarius, 9th is Sagittarius. So mine would be Sagittarius. Higher education, philosophy, publishing, religion, travel. I can't read. And law. Law? I explore expanded horizons. Hmm. Interesting. So glad okay. you decided to go it alone. You pick up the flashlight, you dick. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Why is he so stupid? Oh, dude, I hate your face. Just go. Not really around 2 p.m. ish at night? 2 p.m. ish. Dude, okay, stop. Oh shit, I fell off the stage. Shit. Oh man, this isn't good. Holy shit, that was crazy. Whoa. Intense. In fucking intense. Jesus. You gotta get that pump action, dude.
Get it. Pull it up. Pull it up. Get the pump. Maybe check this out. They keep coming. How much more of these people are there? Jeez. Whoa. Explosions. <laughs> Falls, Rock and Roll Capital of America. That was actually pretty awesome. Let's at least load the shotgun. Handgun's loaded. We'll probably just hey, ow, kick it with that handgun for a bit. Make sure we got everything around here that's free. Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, catch up on the chat for a moment now that I can breathe. Oh, my very thanks. Thank you for the support. I was struggling. 1992, Southport, UK. I can't see. Oh, sorry, I can't read it. Uh, six of. Oh, talking about the uh, the astrology. Would you say 4:15 or like 4:30? I really want to buy this game. Still didn't do it. <laughs> it's really good. You should check it out at some point. I'm enjoying the hell out of it. No, not at all. It's it's interesting. I'm definitely going through all of it here. 